back. I'm going to show you a little bit of demonstration on the Hupo paper. This is like, it's like glass, and I hope you can see it. I'm trying to get it focused. Um, it is um, 8 by 10, and uh, I've, I've taped it to this board on all sides to keep wrinkling. And first, before I start, I, I want to give you my verse for today. It's John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. I think it's a beautiful verse, and I hope you love Jesus because of what he did for us. Now back to, to my paint. You know, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. I'm 98, and when you're 98 and you're trying to make a video, it's not an easy thing to do. But I want to show it to you anyway. And I just hope that you can see it all. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start, I'm going to use watercolor and also a little bit of ink. And uh, I'm going to start with just uh, a light blue. And uh, you see what happens? It's like, look at that. It's like playing in a class. And you have to use uh, water with it. I'm going to try some of my ink. These little things here will hold ink. And I have a, an orange. I'm just going to see what it does. You know, it, it holds on, but you put those two colors together and see what you get. You get gray. And I really didn't want a gray painting. I want something bright. And uh, so I'm going to use some red. Red will go with orange. And another thing I like to do is... Um, I have this hybrid paint. It's um, this is ultramarine blue, and you can. It comes. Can you see that? It comes in a little bottle, which you can use like an eye drop. Drop some mascara in here. And then you um, can mix it and see how dark it is. How dark this is a heavy paint. The other is watercolor. This is watercolor, but it's hybrid and it's very strong. But it's really nice. And this boy, it's really nice. And dark too. Let me put some, I gotta put some green in here. You see, I'm just fussing around with it. I'm not trying to make anything special. You know me. And another thing about this is, if you don't like it, all you have to do is take your brush, and especially a big brush, like this one here. This is a funny, I think a 24. Take this and uh, dry it off. Oh, good. And you can come in. 
just like that. See that? You take it right off. And then you would put it someplace else. Or make it lighter. And right here too, there's too much paint. See those little bumps? That's because there's something has touched this and it's not smooth there anymore. Okay, here. Some more green. I'm gonna mix it with blue. You know, you can all make, almost make anything you want to out of this. And I like to paint like this because I like to be surprised. A lot of times, though, it's really hard to paint this way because you don't know what you're going to get. But the thing about this paper is if you don't like it, you just take a wet cloth and it's gone. Right now, my brush is too wet. See, you don't want it too wet. You wipe it off of the neck down. See how dark this is. You could almost make a, a dark, a storm, couldn't you? I'd like to try um, this ink again. This is that, that red ink. It's a red violet. Take a little put up in here. What would happen if you just let it run? Stand it up like this. It doesn't do what watercolor paper does. It's there, it's there. And I'll tell you, I found out about ink. It's there and it's there. It don't come off. Now see what I can do. A brush, I can make shapes like this. Come down around here like this. You can do all kinds of things. I like that orange there. I don't, I'm going to leave that there. I find something I like. I want to leave it. And that's there. I don't know. And another thing you can do is just take a paper towel and go, whoop, whoop, there it's gone. You see, it's like painting on a glass. It's a, it's a lot of fun because you don't have to worry about everything. I'm using more of this ink. And I have some ink. That orange, let's see if I put it with that. With orange, it makes gray. I could put it with green. It would be all right. They're opposites, you know. They don't go together. Bring a little bit more orange in there. You might even try taping it like, like this. See what it does. You see, it's just a lot of fun. It's like playing in mud when you're a kid, you know. And I really have fun playing with this. See, I'm taking off some of it like that. Just wipe your brush down. Right, so here like this. I can make something realistic out of this. But right now, on the next one I do, I'll show you how you can make more realistic things. Like taking some of this heavy paint off. Oh, this is watercolor. And it's 
a gold. You put it with a blue, you see what happens. It turns into green. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. I'm more or less trying to make this kind of pretty and interesting. Some days you feel like painting, and then there's other days you think, oh, I don't feel like painting. But you gotta force yourself. You know, when you get to this age, you gotta force yourself. And it's just about everything you do. I'll bring some more orange right there. Put some in. Like that's, that's the ink. Now that dries, and it really dries. And this is the red. Maybe I'll bring it with a blue down in here. That's ink. See what you can do? Um, you can take your brush, end of your brush, and you can come in and go like, kind of scribble around. Just have fun with it. It's hard to see if it's on or off. I made a video the other day, and it was off. Because there's a little red thing in there. Let's see. You can't see it with all the lights. You can take a small brush like this and put it in a dark color. And you can come in here. Just do all kind of shapes. Maybe you want to sort of like this going up here. Follow this around here. Oh, you can do this by anything with this kind of paper. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You should try it. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this de short demonstration and that uh, you will try working on this paper and have fun with it. Don't try to get anything special. You see, I'm just using different colors, bringing them around like this. See, that orange, bring it into there. Just having fun, that's ink. You can use the ink, and the ink it is very nice. Goes on this kind of paper good. Bring a little touch of ink around in these little places here. See, it's not a complete painting. It's kind of abstract. And I like to use a dark color and just come in and kind of make like writings or something like that. See, this is what's fun um, about this paper, is that you can do anything with it. And if you don't like it, I told you what you could do. Um, I don't have much white on there, so I'm going to just show you how to take a little white off. And maybe right in here, just like that. Maybe right up in here. You just kind of scrub your brush and see the white comes right back. If you want it whiter, you uh, just go in like that. Maybe there should be some white right down in here. It's a lot of fun. When it's dry and you use water, I see that sink. And as soon as the ink doesn't come off, see that? That's something new I discovered. New ink and it's there. I'm going to put a little more 
wait, wait down in here. And you can take a paper towel and just wipe it off like that, say. Maybe up in here. I like a little more weight up in there. And just take your paper towel, wipe it down. Anywhere you want to go. Well, I think that's enough of them. I'll do some more. And uh, there's landscaping. And I thank you for watching today. And I praise you. I'll put this in a mat as soon as. I took a little of this yellow. It's called Bombay India Ink. And I I used this for the untooth lid. And you have a little dropper. And you can drop that color around in the, in the picture. It's interesting. Wait and see what it does. You can spread it maybe just a little bit. See now, that's, that goes to white. Isn't this fun to play with? It's, it's really fun. But if you have something in mind, then you can just work on that part. But I don't have anything in mind. I'm going to turn this like this thing test. And that ink will stay there. And you can't get it off. You know, I'm thinking of my favorite verse today. And I hope you've accepted Jesus. And but let him let these you in all you do. And thank you for watching and bless you today. I put it in a frame. It's a white frame. Uh, it's pretty soft colors. I could have made them darker, but I just want to show you a little bit of what you can do. And I thank you for having the patience with this person that's so old. And I, I'm, I'm right up there, you know. I'm pain every day. I hope you're pain. And thank you again. May God's blessings be with you today. I'll put it up. I'll put it up a little closer. You can see the technique. Thank you again.